Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to run Windows on a Mac. This is actually very simple because it uses a built-in application called Bootcamp, and most of the process is just waiting for Windows to install. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos that I should make in the future, and don't forget to like and subscribe. There are a few requirements to install Windows 10 on a Mac that can be found on the Apple webpage shown in the video, but I'll also leave the link to it in the description. The requirements are just having a relatively new Mac model and having enough free storage to install Windows. Also, if your Mac is older than the 2015 models or the 2013 Mac Pro, then you will need to use a USB flash drive with a Windows disk image to install Windows. This video will focus on installing Windows on newer Mac models without needing a flash drive. To install Windows 10, you need a Windows 10 disk image, which you can get from the Microsoft website at the link in the description. Go to the link and select the newest Windows 10 edition. After that, select your language and the download button will appear. Download the 64-bit version. Now open Boot Camp Assistant, which you can find in Launchpad, in the Other folder. I would advise to back up your computer before doing this entire process, just in case something goes wrong. Once Boot Camp is open, click Continue and choose the location of the ISO file you just downloaded. Click and drag the circle in between the Mac OS section and the Windows section to select how much of your hard drive you want to partition to Windows. It is possible to dedicate as little as 64GB of storage, but Apple recommends at least 128GB. And if your Mac has more than 128GB of memory, it recommends to dedicate as much storage as your Mac has memory. This means if you have 256GB of memory, you should dedicate at least 256GB of storage to Windows. My Mac does not have more than 128GB of memory, so I'm dedicating about 150GB of storage to Windows. After dedicating the storage, click Install and enter your password. Now comes the boring part, waiting until everything is done installing. After Boot Camp is finished downloading Windows support software, partitioning the disk, and saving Windows support software, Boot Camp Assistant will require you to enter your password to make changes. Once it is done, it will restart the computer and Windows will start up. Sorry for the bad quality for the following recordings, as I had to do them with my phone because screen recording wouldn't work and I don't have a camera. The first time I did the setup process, I got an error saying Windows couldn't locate the disk and partition, so I had to figure out the problem and do it all over again. My problem was that I had an external hard drive connected to my computer, so Windows got confused. To make sure this doesn't happen to you, Unplug any external hard drives or USBs attached to your Mac before doing the following steps. When Windows Setup shows up, select Language, Time and Currency Format, and Keyboard or Input Method. It will ask for a product key to activate Windows, but if you don't have one, you can just select I don't have a product key, and it will work perfectly fine. Now select the Windows version you want to install. I recommend using the default Windows 10 Home unless you need another version for some other reason. All you have to do now is accept the license terms and click next, and Windows will start to install. This will take a while, in my case about 10 minutes, so you can go do something else while this is happening. After it is done, your computer will restart. Windows will say getting ready for a while and restart yet another time. When it appears again, it will say just a moment until the setup process starts. The setup process is the same as if you were using Windows for the first time on another computer. It is pretty self-explanatory and just requires entering information and creating an account, so I won't go step by step through that. After your computer restarts one more time, Windows will finally appear. You have to follow the steps in the Bootcamp installer, so click Next and accept the terms. Bootcamp will now install, and it will take a few minutes, so you can do something else until it's done. Once Bootcamp is almost installed, a pop-up will appear asking if you would like to install it, so select Install. The process is finally almost complete. Just click finish and your computer will restart and open in Windows. Log into your account and you will be using Windows on a Mac. To get back to Mac OS, click on the arrow in the bottom right of the taskbar and click the boot camp icon, then select restart in Mac OS. Sometimes there's an error that says could not locate the Mac OS boot volume, so there's another way to do this. Restart the computer and hold down the Option or Alt key. Don't release it until the screen pops up with the choice between Windows and Macintosh HD. Select whichever one you want to run and click the arrow to run it. If your mouse is Bluetooth and does not work, 
Use the arrow keys to select the operating system of your choice and press enter or return to start it. This works to switch from Windows to macOS and macOS to Windows. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.